Hi there, I hope you are doing well. Today we will compare what is in my opinion the most interesting WDT tools on the market. Just a quick note, we are giving away 10 WDT tools on today's video. So stay tuned for that and enjoy the video. A brief history about what is WDT tool and what does it stand for. Back in 2004, a scientist with biochemistry PhD named John Weiss was trying to play around to find a way to break and fluff those clumps in the ground coffee before tamping the portafilter. Accordingly, he came with the idea of using a single dissection needle to fluff the coffee and stir it. Later on, he shared his method on a very famous coffee farm called Home Barista. Since then, the term WDT tool has came to life and it stands for Weiss Distribution Technique. After that, I remember seeing a video of someone using a wine cork with four paper clips in it. However, it came to my mind that using sewing needles might be the better option as they will be stiffer and thinner. We made a video about it on our Instagram account and so many people loved the idea. After a year or two, I saw John Buckman, the founder of Decent Espresso, speaking about how he had found that using acupuncture needles was more efficient in breaking the clumps and fluffing the ground coffee than normal sewing needles or thick metal wires. The rest is history. Since then, there are endless options of WDT tools on the market. In order to save you the trouble of having to buy and try multiple different tools, I will share my thoughts on all the interesting ones and mention the small differences between them. First and foremost, the DIY WDT tool. If you are having real difficulties in getting a WDT tool, you can simply make your own WDT tool. You can use a wine cork, which can also be found in some olive oil bottles or alcohol-free sparkling drinks like this one. Alternatively, you can use an eraser as a handle instead of using a wine cork like we did in the past in this video. As for the needles, you want to go with acupuncture needles which can be found on Amazon or AliExpress. But once you do, make sure to clip their sharp endings while covering them with a towel as they can fly away after you clip them. With this one, I use the wine cork and a 0.25 mm acupuncture needles. Speaking of the needles, the most common options are 0.40 mm, 0.35, 25 or 22 millimeter. I was very stubborn to the idea of using anything thinner than 0.30 millimeter as I thought that I do wish to move the coffee within two seconds rather than having the needles passing with minimum effect on the ground coffee. Nonetheless, I have to admit that after trying 0.25 millimeter needles, I have drastically changed my opinion on that. Back to this WDT tool. It is a great starting point and it will definitely get the job done. That being said, consider all the cheap available options. It is worth the upgrade. The Lego AliExpress WDT tool. Now I came up with this naming as it only reminds me of Lego pieces. It's being sold for as low as 3 US dollars plus another 3.5 US dollars for shipping. It does take some time to put together and the instructional video on YouTube has maximum resolution of 320p. I mean, really? 320p? Anyway, back to the subject. It comes with 0.40 millimeter thickness needles, which are far too thick, but they will get the job done. All in all, I love the price tag of it and the ability to install different needles as some WDT tools will only accept specific needles or have them fixed. There are two disadvantages with this one. The first is that you will still have to buy thinner needles to get optimum results which will eventually increase the total price. The second disadvantage is that it still feels too cheap and plasticky. The Comb by Barista Hustle I remember when it first came out, I was very amused by it. I love the ergonomics and the way it is made for your fingers to rest all around it and how you can place it either flat or just leave it as is on the table and it will stay that way. It comes with 30 needles at 0.35 mm thickness and you have the option to arrange them in the order that you wish to. Nonetheless, considering all the new WDT tools and their affordable price tags, I would say the competition is really strong. By the way, Barista Hustle team is working on a new WDT tool and I cannot wait until I test it and share my feedback with you. iCafe WDT tool.
Now, first of all, I love the stand that it comes with as it is sleek, minimalistic, and super easy to use. The practicality of removing the tool and returning it is straightforward and simple. It has a special design that allows you to widen the angle of the needles by twisting the top part, then tightening it. It also uses 0.25mm needles, which are truly perfect in this one. It also comes with an additional 12 needles. They offer two colors to go with, black or silver. I do like the silver one. It is well priced and shipping fees are also very reasonable. All in all, it checks so many boxes and you will be very pleased with it. If I had to add two things, I wish if they had an additional four holes to add extra needles and a better mechanism for changing the needles. It is very difficult once you open it and try to change the needles, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Normcore V3 WDT2 I had the chance to test the prototype of this WDT tool. It is well designed and thought. The stand is easy to use and it has perfect distribution of needles. It allows you to replace the needles by loosening the top part. It comes with two sets, 0.30mm and 0.40mm. However, they have recently started providing 0.25mm needles, which I am very keen on testing. It is well priced, reasonable shipping fees and a great choice to consider. S-Works Design this is one of the most famous and loved high-end WDT tools. It has a practical shape, sits steady on the table. Also, it has a hidden magnet to attach to the side of your espresso machine. However, it won't stick on the sides of a stainless steel panels like E61 group head machines. The needle holder piece is one of the key features of this WDT tool. It has very accurate and tight needle holder holes that are sufficient to hold the needles in place and offer the ability to remove them by hand. Additionally, the needles are perfectly angled and they probably have the perfect distribution in any WDT tool. As a reference, here's a comparison along Normcore and here along iCape. It has a mix of 0.22mm needles that will pass through the ground coffee without moving it and at the same time 0.25mm needles to offer that minimum movement in the ground coffee. They do offer so many colored options to go with. Also, I love the fact that they give you the ability to pick up any additional sets of needles from different sizes to add to your order. You will have to pay for the extra stand, but I wouldn't recommend it as the tool usually gets stuck in it and it will require you to hold it in place to take the tool off. It is just more practical to use it without the stand. Happy Tamper WDT Tool Now this is not your usual WDT tool. It has a nice metal body with retractable needles that are measured at 0.30mm and again I would have loved if they offered additional sets of 0.25 or 22mm needles. It is a bit long and I do believe that it could have been made shorter and smaller. It is much more practical to have smaller tool to fluff the ground coffee rather than holding all of this tool. It just feels unpractical. All in all, considering all these previous tools, I would say the main features of this one is portability. It is perfect choice for traveling and outdoor use. I do wish if it was cheaper and they should definitely offer different size needles with it in the box. That's it for today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed it so far and that I was able to give you a reference on what to look for when you are choosing a WDT tool. Everything regarding the giveaway is in the description section. All you have to do is to show them some love, follow them and make sure to check us for additional entries. We do wish to give much more but hopefully more giveaways are coming in the near future. Take care and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.